I'm just about to show you multiple ways that you guys can start making money on Audible, so let's get to work. At this point, I'm confident that everybody knows how Audible.com works, right? This is all about audiobooks. This is a marketplace where you can get access to your favorite books in audio form, and most of the times they will actually be narrated by the original author, which just makes the whole experience a lot more authentic and pleasant. Absolutely love that. However, guys, we are not here to download audiobooks onto our device and listen to them. And instead, we're gonna use our time a little bit more efficiently. We are not here for entertainment and instead we are here to make money. So let me break it down for you. If you guys connect to ACX.com, this is basically the audiobook creation exchange. That is what it stands for and this is the place where audiobooks are born. For instance guys, if you're an author and you want to turn your work into an audiobook on Audible, here's what you could do. You can create the profile, find a so-called producer, review your editions, make a deal and then ultimately distribute your work and earn royalties for each and every single sale. In other words, you get to display your work on Audible and you will get paid for each and every single purchase it generates but there is far more to it than that here's what i want you to do once you're over at acx.com i want you to pick this particular section that says i am a narrator i know it may not make too much sense for now but here's the thing now guys amazon basically allows everybody to launch their own books on their marketplace that can either be done through kindle more precisely you can go over to kdp.amazon.com and then publish your ebook through the kindle direct publishing feature and reach millions of readers on amazon Moving forward, once you've listed your work, you will get compensated whenever you generate the sale. That is pretty self-explanatory. But if you want to take it one step further, what you can do is turn your ebook into an audiobook and list it on Audible. Does that make sense? Well, guys, but in order to get there, you need a pretty good book. Let's just think about it for a second. Creating your own book probably takes several weeks of work. And so if you're going to waste that much time, you need to know for sure whether or not you will be profitable. Because otherwise, it may not be worth it. There are far more efficient uses of your time than writing a crappy ebook that nobody is going to purchase. But now guys, we are not going to let that stop us. And there is more to it than that. Creativity is not necessarily something you can train. I personally believe that you're either a creative person or you're not. That is not necessarily a trainable skill and so if you don't find yourself in the first category, if you're not too creative, you don't have to let that stop you from making money on Audible and instead you can find smarter solutions. So let me show you what I had in mind. If you guys head over to the narrator section on ACX, you will understand precisely how this process works. So let me break it down for you in very easy steps. What you're gonna do up next is create the profile. I'm gonna walk you through that process. You simply have to sign up on ACX and create a profile that details your acting and audiobook experience. But guys, I do understand that if you're watching this video right now, you probably don't have a lot of previous experience when it comes to this field of activity, but that is not going to be a problem. I will show you precisely how you can build your portfolio of previous work but now let's just overlook the first step for now and move over to the second one once your profile is successfully set up you get to upload samples and the thing about the second step is that you can tag an unlimited number of samples in your profile that literally means that you can upload as many audio files as you possibly can that means you can try different accents different genre different styles and at the end of the day the more audio samples you include the easier it will be for authors to find you because here's basically how the process works for an author. They're just going to search for a voiceover actor for a narrator by certain criteria. For instance, let's say they need a friendly voiceover that's got an American accent who specializes on the novel genre. Well, if that is your case, if you have uploaded a sample that matches that criteria, you're good to go. And so you will end up on their radar. If they like your work and they think you're a great fit, they're gonna hire you. But now let's get back to our process here. Once you upload your samples, you can get to choose how you are getting paid and there are two or three different options. First and foremost, you can get paid just like a freelancer on Fiverr, for instance. You can get paid an hourly rate. And so if a certain audiobook takes you two hours of audio to record, you will get paid for two hours of work. But there is a different model as well. You can also choose to share 50% of the royalties. What does that mean? Well, guys, you can narrate an audiobook for somebody else, for an author, and you get to keep 50% of the profits they are making from royalties. Now, that is an incredible amount, isn't it? You didn't have to write the novel in the first place. You didn't have to go through the trouble of finding ideas, finding inspiration, spending several weeks writing the paperback. And all you had to do was just record your voice into a microphone. But that is enough to generate an extra 50% of the royalties. And that's the catch. If you end up working with a successful audiobook, you might actually make thousands or tens of thousands of dollars just because of this 50%. In comparison, if you chose the per finished hour rate, 
you'd only be making a few hundred dollars. That is quite a gamble, but it's one that I would be willing to take. But in order to get there, there are a few more things we need to set in place, so let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Now, moving forward, you will get to audition for certain audiobooks that you're interested in working with. If the author accepts your offer, you can start recording right away. You can even work with other studio professionals, and eventually you will finish the recording. That's precisely when you get paid according to the model you've chosen. And ultimately, you get to come back for more. But now, let's get back to the first step of the process, creating a profile and uploading our previous work. Again, if you're just starting out right now, if this is the first ever time you even heard about Amazon ACX, you probably don't have any previous experience whatsoever. But here's the thing. Doing voice over acting was one of the first things that ever allowed me to make my first three and then four figures online. And I know for a fact that it doesn't take a genius, it doesn't take any sort of talent to get that done. All you need to do is just speak English and that's it. You don't even need a high quality microphone. Back when I started out, I literally had a $10 microphone, but that didn't stop me. And so it shouldn't stop you either. It is all about being willing to take action. But now the question is, how can we find some offers to work on in order to build a portfolio of previous experience, of previous work? Let me be 100% truthful here. If you're gonna apply for the ACX narrator program and then create the profile but have no previous experience to show, you're probably going to end up getting accepted for precisely zero projects. That is because people don't want to work with somebody that doesn't know what they are doing. Newbies are not welcome here. And for that reason, I think that you would have to build your previous experience somewhere else. And then once you get the ball rolling, once you get your foot in the door, you can head back over to ACX and take advantage of this opportunity. But let's take it one step at a time. Here's what I would do if I was just starting out right now. I would head straight over to Fiverr.com and set up a high converting gig. And you don't have to be a genius to make that happen. All you gotta do is model what your competitors here are doing. Just try to get the same aesthetic, add a comprehensive description, something that would convince people to work with you and you're good to go. And of course, you can also lower your rates because you're just starting out and you don't really have any experience with this field of activity. Now, to be entirely honest, the competition is not all that friendly here. 29,000 services available is quite a big number. And so your chances of standing out right away are gonna be pretty slim. And for that reason, it might take you a few weeks to get your first projects. For that reason, what I would do in order to overcome that obstacle would be heading over to other less popular freelancing websites, such as truelancer.com, for instance, which is a pretty good alternative. Once you get one, two, three different clients, once you get some previous experience, you can step it up. And now, guys, let me tell you something else. And this is a bonus tip that's actually going to help you out. Ultimately, if you want to make some decent amounts of money with voiceover acting, you want to focus on long-term projects, such as YouTube channels, for instance. That's the perfect example. Let's just say that somebody is looking to launch their own YouTube channel, right? And they need a voiceover actor to get a voiceover done. Well, chances are, if you're good enough, if you provide a high quality service, they are going to keep working with you because that channel owner probably doesn't want to go through the trouble of hiring a new freelancer every single week. As long as your service is good enough, they are going to keep working with you. So this is a recurring payment. But now, if you want to step it up, another thing you can do is connect to Voices.com and start working here as well. According to the website, this is the world's number one marketplace for voiceover. And it's a pretty good option, to be honest. But... There is a drawback here. If you want to be able to apply for projects directly, you would have to pay a monthly subscription and it is not cheap. It is around $500. Now, if you're starting out, that is quite an investment. So you gotta know for sure whether or not you will ever recover that investment. That's why I think that starting with a free alternative such as these freelancing websites is a far better solution. But now guys, let's not get completely sidetracked here. We are not here to talk about voice over acting. We're here to make money through Audible. All of these other websites were just a tool we were using to build up a portfolio of previous work because ultimately what we want to do is get that job on Amazon ACX. But you need to get some previous experience to get there. Otherwise, just as mentioned, you're not going to get any offers and that is a shame really. And guys, if you're still watching this video at this point, you're really lucky because here's a bonus tip. Let's just say that voiceover acting is not for you. You've tried it for a while, but you didn't really have any success with it. But you still want to make money through Audible. Because you know this is a huge platform, it gets a lot of traffic, and there is money on the table. But you don't have any talent, you're not a creative person, and you are stuck here. Well, here's a quick fix for that. What you could do, and this is something that a lot of celebrities are actually doing, is hire a ghostwriter. This is a person that you get to pay, 
they're gonna create a high quality work for you and you get to upload it on Amazon KDP and then ultimately to Audible. You're basically outsourcing the whole creation process and as long as you're able to find a good content creator, you're good to go. Now, I'm not saying that is going to make you a millionaire overnight, but it sounds like a pretty good approach, doesn't it? And so guys, I want you to pick one of the options we've covered and give it a try. That's it for now and thanks for watching.